Hello and welcome to another tutorial field. This is Kamen Rider Summon Ride for the PS3. Now obviously this is a video game and it's not, well, I mean video games are toys, but uh, for the toy review part I'm going to be looking at those figurines and you know opening the box and so unboxing and reviewing the figurines that you get inside and little chips and stuff. As for the actual gameplay, um, I say head over to Geeko, uh, no. Uh, either the Let's Play video or the Geeko video. I think the Geeko video will make more sense. No, Let's Play video will make more sense. Yeah, dig up your own eight Let's Play channel. You head over there, um, and I'll just scan these in and, and show you what they do, uh, and you know comment on on it. So, so anyway, uh, yeah. So inside here, uh, the last one that we viewed was uh, Come Out of Drive Type uh, Wild. And then, you know, that's the last chip to be reviewed. And so you got Gaim, Drive and Wizard, of course, the latest uh, three. And I was like, oh, come on. I mean, this has four players, but you only get three chips in there. So you have to buy at least one more pack for the four player thing. This is also released on the Wii U. And the Wii U version also uses this base. Even though the Wii U pad has the little scanning thing for the Amiibos, this still has that because you, if you want four players, you have to have four figurines on there at the same time. So, uh, obviously inside you also get the game. Uh, um, you know, this box really gives me the Christmassy feel because, you know, as a kid, you know, you get a box and maybe it's because it's all white and kind of flappy and all over. Like, it reminds me when I was a kid and I get like a big giant box of like the ultimate Uno pack with all different Uno stuff or, you know, you open up with lots of random toys inside, like a goodie bag. It just feels very Christmassy to me. Hmm, that's a good thing. Uh, so yeah, this is PS3, PS3 version. The Wii U version just has the same box, but you know, in the middle, it's a bit blue and the Wii U thing. Top of the box, come out of summon, drive, and PS3 here. Uh, bottom of the box, and the warning stuff. You can see this box is actually really thin and tacky. And that's, while it feels really Christmassy, it's not a good thing, especially for a game that's not, well, not exactly cheap. Mm. Move back. The side of the box shows you like, how to play this. You know, you get the figure, you scan it, and la 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 la. And to it, the, the image doesn't have the base on there. So, break your figure, snap the figure off the base, and then use it that way. Hmm. No, don't do that. Um, and yeah, use the chip to change their form. You got like Wizard there, and you got Gaim there. And uh, I, I guess uh, Shin Zengatsu is just a support character, you can't actually place him, which that'd be really annoying because I really like both Melon and Melon Energy. But hey, they're probably leaving that for the second game. And on this side again, just a bigger image of the stuff you get inside. So you get the game, the, the base, uh, the three figures, the three chips, and then Zengatsu. So these are the form chips and this is the support chip. I could be completely wrong. As far as I'm concerned, I think I know that's. I think that's the support chip. That's what the promos look like, anyway. Here's the back of the box. Story. Uh, Kamen Rider. Um, uh, blah. Big evil guy wants to take over the world, of course. And uh, nah. and underneath here, you got um, they're already promoting uh, packs one to six. So. Um, uh, I saw the packs and each of these packs comes with two figures and two discs and there's also a separate disc pack and all of these packs are about 150 Hong Kong each so there's gonna be eight packs so far uh, in, in January and February it's gonna be Cougar and and, and uh, Deno and it's two other packs and uh, one other pack so you're gonna be spending like almost um, it's, it's eight and one thing so over a thousand dollars on this game and uh, that's not cool um, pretty much one game you're getting paying for three games but you get a figure inside but uh, the figures any good like is it worth getting all these figures oh boy so flappy 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 box you open it up um, right, first you got this plastic tray there was set tape all the way around there for already opened it once to look at it so cardboard yay um, you guys get obviously the game here, this plastic tray come out, and a little advert sheet. Let's take a quick look at the advert sheet. So yeah, advertising all these ones. Um, so yeah, and, and so you get um, <clears throat> single focus more. Hmm. 
Alright, so can I move a bit more forward? Okay, so the first part you get a yellow flare version of um, uh, Drive and Forze, and you get uh, support of uh, Beast and Meteor. And then uh, number two is a Decade and Blade, and you get Decade Complete and Fires. Is that Fires? Fires Exceed, which is actually really dumb because that means you have no choice but to get the other Fires one. Um, you get the O's and Agito with Birth and <sighs> Gaim Kiwami Arms. Uh, Double and Ryuki with uh, Baron and Axel. Um, Kabuto and Hibiki with uh, Wizard, Infinity and uh, Gatak. And then you have the chipset which is uh, Forza Magnet. Oz Puto Terra Double Extreme. A Decade chip, not sure what that's supposed to do. Because uh, it's not in any forms. And uh, Kabuto Hyper. And then next one is um, Ryuki Emperor. Uh, Dano Climax, Blade King, Fies, uh, Kuga, uh, Amazing Mighty, and Fies, uh, Blaster, and then, uh, and then and then in January you got the Dano and Kuga with um, uh, Drive Tech, no Drive uh, Technique and a hidden one, and probably another Drive so be Machine Chase or something. Fires and Kiva with uh, Forza Cosmic and D End. Then you also got the uh, the Gashapon and the <laughs> Candy Toy. So Candy Toy you got um, Drive of all these colours. Now the one that comes here is uh, green. So you got yellow, blue, purple, red drives, which is exactly the same mold. Just, uh, just they must do something a bit different. Gaim Green is the, the one in his blue and Wizard. The one in here is red, but you get the blue one here. And then you have all these extra chips again. Um, drive Wild again. Huh. Um, Gaim Jimba Lemon. Extreme. Decade Complete. Climax. Climax Swarm then on again. Ultimate Cougar, a Shocker Combatant. Uh, o Super Tato Bar. Uh, Wizard, uh, Infinity Dragon, and I, I guess that's Force 8. That'll probably be Narashisko Cosmic Fusion States or the Cluster F <laughs> States. And on the back, it's just, um, I guess, just advertising. Look, look what you can do. You get all these. So you got like red is fire, blue is water, purple is eye, and yellow is star, and green is wind or cyclone, and then uh, I don't know. And the game itself. Uh, here's the game box, just in the standard PS3 thing. So, I wonder if you can actually get this separate. Like, if you don't get any of these figurines, can you like still play it? And on the back it says use figurines. Uh, one to four players. Now, I do like that there's four players. If I'm one of the trays, I can see. It's sort of like um, corridor hack and slash, kind of like not like Diablo, but kind of like Diablo or Dungeon Siege. Where you just run around a map and you slash things, but of course, instead of clicking, you'll be tapping the buttons on the controller. Open it up, there's the disc, of course, with drive and lots of crystals on the back and instructions booklet. This is actual instructions booklet, not just a thin piece of paper. Uh, contents, of course, I can't read any of this, so um, stuff, 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 stuff. But at least it's it's a colourful instructions manual and it's not a cheap thin piece of paper like most American stuff. So uh, the figurines, which is the main reason for this video, because this is the toy review section. So I'm just gonna throw them all out. Um, but this is stuck. So I'm gonna get all of them. And uh, all the bright figures have these little uh, plastic sheet things for protection or something. Out the way. Right. Uh, let's look at the chips. <clears throat> uh, let's look at the drive one first. <clears throat> so, yeah, um, basically, attack red, 
Um, this one has luck. Okay, yellow is luck. So uh, Singatsu also has red. Has the logo of the series and whatever it's supposed to do. And green is defense. So, um, so yeah. Uh, they all have the same shape, obviously there's a chip inside, and it would be really nice if the scanner can scan the old medals, that should be an update, scan the old medals. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's a shiny sticker, uh, the art of it is all ha like hand-drawn sort of paint art, which is, which is fine, um, it goes along with all the other art style of the game, so that's okay. Here's uh, Dragon, or Dragon. Um, hmm. And uh, got uh, Kachi Doki. Defense. Mm, there's all these little tiny pin numbers on them. Oh, that's the same number as each other. They all say uh, 2278834, whatever that is. And Shin Zangatsu. Oh, I wish I could play as him, that'd be so cool. I want to play as Shin Sengatsu. I wonder if I can pull this up. No, it's all glued down. and I can't feel any screw holes underneath, so you're not going to be taking this apart easily. Oh well. Good drive. Uh, there we go. So, uh, the figure itself, now, <coughs> all of them, they do, the, the, the flares, the fire, that's different depending on the color. So... So drive, um, sort of this, you can see the chip there. Um, yeah, the molding details are not too bad, you've even got little lines on the back as well. Uh, but paint is severely lacking, he's got red, silver and white, and that's it. Um, the paint isn't even too good on the little shift cars, like it's a bit of paint missing. <coughs> lacking paint on the back, uh, the red line just sort of stops. Does have red on him on the back, but um, yeah, lots of details missing. Same with the belt. The belt is not painted all the way. Uh, there is molding on the bottom of his shoes, so that's cool. So, so molding wise, I have no issue with the mold, <coughs> except maybe the eyes, because uh, it doesn't have the little compound eyes molded in. But apart from that, everything is molded there. It even says uh, type speed molded into the tire. <coughs> And the whole thing is sort of a soft rubbery plastic, which is good because kids will be playing with this and they'll be dropping it and then, so they don't want it to snap, so that's fine. Just I wish there'd be a bit more paint there. And um, it does have S molded into the Type Speed logo there. <coughs> so you could get like a bit of red marker pen. I mean, you can paint this yourself and... Um, but if you don't, um, overall, it looks okay for the scale, but um, it is missing a lot of paint detail. I mean, not bad, but, you know, oh well. Wizard, of course, has his uh, little cape thing going all the way up. Uh, no silver lining on his thing, no. Um, no silver paint on his shoes. Again, uh, missing a lot of details, but overall, it does look okay. Again, I would strongly advise, uh, if you're good at painting and like painting, that. Yeah, I really highly recommend painting this. It looks so much better. Um, does it have... I can't see it too clearly. No. Uh, the most, the tiny molding details that's missing here is a tiny little uh, wizard language on his helmet. and uh, But that's to be expected. It's too small to have those details. Finally, we have Gaim, which... Um, can't help but feel unfortunate. I mean, because I like Gaim out of all these three. Uh, I can't help but feel like a lot of details missing here, especially on his chest. Um, I mean, he has gold printed on him, but not on his chest, all his armor bits, and feels like he's missing so much detail. Um, at least he has metallic orange for his eyes. Um, it's in Goku driver and the little lock seats are there, and it does... If I can just see closer... Uh... Yeah, the lock seats are all just circular shapes, so no Ichigo lock seat there. And for some reason, his sword snap. Like, what the hap what, what happened, guy? Why is your sword so short? But all of these details are molded there, just missing paint again. Um, I think Gaim suffers the most from this because there's a lot of colors going on with Gaim. With, with Wizard and Drive, they're sort of just these three colors will do fine. Whereas Gaim, he's a very colorful rider. He has a lot of variety on his suit, and that's all missing. Uh, I guess, finally, we can look at the big uh, stage. 
a USB connector. Big thing. But, um, you can see there's almost nothing in there. It's just an empty case. Look, there's a chip there. Uh, the screw hole under here. A little... I don't know what that is. It looks like a motor, but it's obviously it's not going to be a motor because it doesn't move. But but yeah, uh, just just the center, and on top of here you can see this this little symbols here with all the different logos. You have got the the green one, the water, the fire, the yellow star, and the purple um, female parts. <laughs> so pretty long USB cables. So that's nice. So you can definitely have it quite far away from the uh, TV screen. So if you want to play like multiplayer and stuff, you'd be like, shh, shh, shh. there you go, free player, and then. Um, uh, you don't have to, but I guess you can. Be like, okay, so Gaim's blue, so he'd be on water. He's red, so he'd be on the uh, fire one. And he's green, so he'd be on the cyclone thing. And then, uh, oh, uh, form change, and form change. And can you fit, like, if you have four players and you want to do all of them to have different form change and stuff, can I do that? Can I, yeah, you can fit all, you can fit four four of everything in there so four chips and four figurines uh, so that's that's good that isn't that there's enough space there so so yeah uh, so check out the let's play channel um, I'll put a link in this video once I've done it uh, I will do it tonight after we're doing this so it'll be uploaded a bit later than uh, this video so stay tuned uh, until then uh, check out other videos if you like um, so yeah come uh, ride the summon ride um, <laughs> I mean, the game itself is not the most expensive or the cheapest. It's, it's slightly cheaper than most console games. In most console games, what well, it's like uh, what, 60 US dollars. So it's about the same price as that, but you get these figurines and you get a big USB disc. So, so it, it feels cheaper because you get more stuff in it. But I know that's just, in the long run, this game costs so much more than all the other games because it's like constantly buying DLC for an incomplete game. And yes, yeah, sure, you get like plastic figurines, but um, as far as I can tell, the figurines are sort of essential for unlocking different riders. Um, I hope you can unlock riders in the game, and I guess I'll find out when I play it, but if you can't and you must buy the figurines for unlocking stuff, that'd be pretty crappy. Um, because this game will end up costing three times more than other games. Oh well. And you know, Bandai Namco games, they're, ne they're never really that good quality. I mean, uh, come out of Battle Eye. Uh, I mean, that's just like a cheap version of uh, Dynasty Warriors that uh, doesn't even have two player. And that's the thing, I mostly got this for the four player game again, and hopefully I can get four people to play this with me because. Or oh, oh, two player would be nice too. Mm. Subscribe to Justin Carbillon, and of course, take care and have a nice day. Henshin!